minutes after the first plane crashed, the second plane hit the World Trade Center. The tower bursting into flames, sending black billowing smoke and debris into the air, adding to the scene of horror already unfolding. I need to go back to work, it's okay, I'm telling you. Not for this, not for this job. Not for this job, it's not worth it. We thought it was an earthquake. We saw the whole, we were on the 10th floor. The whole thing was shaking, swaying like you wouldn't believe. Then we all went into the hallways and ran down the stairs. The impact, I thought it was a bomb, just lifted everybody off the, off our seats. And it was a, we were screaming. Unfortunately, there was a lot of people jumping. There's, we saw so many people jump, it's unreal. It's the worst, tragic, most tragic thing I've ever seen, you know, I've never imagined. Many streams of emergency response teams raced to the scene. The second tower, weakened by the crash, collapsed, filling the skies above the city with a fine gray dust. A short time later, Tower 1 went. City officials say thousands were injured. They expect the death toll will not be known until tomorrow at the earliest, as rescue efforts continue. Shirley John of Brooklyn says she was buried alive by falling rubble. I was on the way to work, and the dust come down and cover us. We had to feel our way out from the dust. It's just bad. Also relieved to be alive, radio reporter Hernando Reyes, who was struck by falling debris while covering this disaster. And then, <laughs> and then everything is collapsed. And we run, I'm run, I'm run. And then I jump to the floor. The mass evacuation from lower Manhattan continued throughout the day. New York is a city in lockdown. With no mass transit to the area, workers and residents set off on foot. Thousands walked across the Brooklyn and Manhattan bridges, as well as the northbound lanes of the FDR Drive. Anxious to get out of harm's way, many looking forward to reaching the safety of home. I'm going to try to put the Grand Central and walk from there, but it's like a war zone further down. I mean, it's... I, I want to say it's like a movie, but it's not. I mean, it's just a surreal feeling. In Lower Manhattan, I'm Pauline Liu for the WB11 News.